coming to you in the all-powerful name of Jesus. Friend, we have a wonderful program for you today. Good gospel music and singing, powerful testimonies. I know that you're going to be blessed, so stay right there. Don't you dare go away. From studios in Akron, Ohio, welcome to the 1909 Club with your host, Ernest Angley. On today's program, you'll enjoy great gospel music and singing. And you'll hear amazing testimonies and accounts of God's miracle power. Bringing you reports of heaven's miracles that people are receiving all over the world through this Jesus World Outreach Ministry. And now your host for the 1909 Club, Ernest Angley. You are special, and you are special to God. My name is the Reverend Steve Millar, and I'm Associate Minister here at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral, and I'll be your guest host for today. And if you have a need, call in right now. We have prayer counselors on duty ready to take your call. And at the end of the program, I'll be taking your request to the throne of grace, expecting God to move for you. And those of you in the Cleveland area, it's toll free, 440-842-8043. And the rest of you outside of Cleveland, 330-929-5010. Now we have a great number for you by the Singing Men's Quartet. And the title of this song is Unload. So listen to this song and get ready to receive. is the key to victory. I all for you will never bankrupt heaven. Those walls of Jericho will come right down. No power can overcome God's mighty greatness. Your hour of happiness can start right now. Unload, unload, you unload. don't have to bear the burdens. Unload, unload, Jesus unload. came to set you free this road. This road. Unload and find Jesus' liberty. Unload, unload. You don't have to bear those burdens. Unload. Oh, Jesus came to set you free. This road, it isn't meant to be a sad one. Unload and find Jesus' liberty. Unload. your blessed Savior. All will be well when you take his yoke of love. Unload, unload. Unload, unload, unload. This road, this road. This road. Unload and find Jesus' liberty. Unload, unload. You don't have to bear those burdens. Unload. Oh, Jesus came set you free this road it isn't meant to be a sad one unload and find jesus liberty. why don't you unload unload you don't have to bear those burdens unload unload jesus 
first came to set you free This road, this road isn't meant to be a sad one Unload and find Jesus' liberty Oh, unload, unload, unload. You don't have to bear those burdens Unload, unload. Jesus unload. came to set you free This road, this no, road it isn't road. meant to be a sad one Unload and find Jesus' liberty Birdies. Jesus came to set you free. Unload, 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 unload. Jesus, liberty. Unload, unload, unload. Ah, uh, yes. Jesus came to set us free, and we can unload our burdens. And I pray that you have unloaded your burdens today. Now, friend, I'd like to introduce you to the Cathedral Trio, and they're going to be singing the Hour of Jubilee. So this is the Hour of Jubilee, and we're happy, and we're glorifying the Lord. trials and your tribulation this is the hour that the lord foretold the bride is shouting loud jesus has told us how we have redemption through his sinless blood everybody now lift up your hands to now and praise the lord this is the hour of your jubilee his blood has the power now to change he gave all his love to cover you and me. Promises glorify so that we can testify of fruits of love that we have now received. Everybody now, lift up your hands to him now and praise the Lord. This is the hour of your jubilee. His blood has the power now to change your life. He gave all his love to cover you and me. Praise His name, glory to Jesus, our Savior. Lift up your hands to Him now and praise the Lord. This is the hour, is the hour of your jubilee. His blood. His blood has the power. What a great job by the Cathedral Trio. And now we have Kathy Rudolph with the Voice of Answer Prayer, and she has testimonies from around from the U.S. and Canada. So welcome to the program, Kathy. Thank you, Reverend Millar. It's just a privilege to read of what God is doing, His marvelous works on planet Earth today. And He does care, and He wants to bless people, soul, mind, and body. So our first testimony is Annie from Akron, Ohio. 
She says, Dear Reverend Angley, it is such a privilege to be a part of this Jesus ministry. I thank all of our ministers for their lives, their faithfulness to the Lord. The first miracle I ever received was for migraine headaches, and it happened the first time I came to this church. My little shepherd, who invited me to go to church, warned me that the devil would fight me, and on the day I was to go, I was laid out flat with a migraine headache. However, I went to church anyway, and I never had a migraine headache again. <laughs> she just got that miracle through determination to get here in faith. And God honors every determination. You know, when, you're, when you use your faith, no matter what it is, you know, we see people that travel all the way from Africa just to come here to get their miracle, to receive whatever their need is, but they, they're willing to take that step of faith and, and travel so far. And yes. people are traveling all over the world just to come to one of our services to receive their miracle. Yes, we see that time and again. She says, on another occasion, I went before you for prayer because I had a lot of stiffness in my torso and I didn't know what was causing it. I thought it might have been my lung or that my heart was bothering me. But through the gift of discerning, you revealed to me that it was arthritis in my torso and you prayed for me. I've never had that problem again. God did it. Another time, I had pain in my right hip maybe because I had been sitting a lot and the pain was awful. I came to you for prayer and you told me to slam my foot down. Well, I slammed it down on the floor and I received an instant miracle for arthritis. It was gone. That was so astounding because it had been so painful. Well, the devil tries us and after getting prayer for my right hip, the left hip started hurting. <laughs> I was so mad at the devil. How dare he try to steal my miracle from me? I had received an instant miracle and I told the devil the same power of God that was working on my right side was working on the left side and it made no difference. I told myself that God's power was working in my body and I claimed my miracle. I fought that devil off and I have never had that problem again. Sometimes we have to fight for a miracle. The devil's there to rob you if you give him a chance. About three years ago, I was getting ready to go to the ministry's Saturday night youth service when I noticed there was a light on in my basement. I ran down the stairs, but for some reason, I missed the last two steps that night and fell hard on both my ankles. I fractured one of my ankles and badly sprained the other. My friends were in the house with me at the time and I called up to them. One of my friends is a nurse and as she iced my ankles, which were already beginning to swell up, I started yielding to the Lord. The Holy Ghost took me over and started speaking through me and I know God started working for me at that moment because I didn't have nearly the pain I should have had. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. However, I definitely had plenty of swelling and I couldn't walk. So my friend's husband carried me up the stairs. On Sunday morning, the husband went to church and received prayer for me. Sunday evening, I was able to get there and receive prayer from you. And I was in a wheelchair because I still couldn't walk but I was determined to get up from that wheelchair. You prayed for me and I did get up and walk. There was still a little bit of pain and tenderness, but I was determined to get my healing or my miracle, whichever way God wanted to do it. One amazing part about the whole thing was that for some reason my x-ray was delayed. So I started to walk a little bit, even though I still had some slight pain. I was so determined to receive from the Lord. Well, when the doctor finally took an x-ray, he was startled to find that I had what he called a nasty fracture, and he was amazed that I was walking some. The doctor wanted to send me to a specialist, but they couldn't get me in to see him for a couple more weeks. 
When I finally saw the specialist, he told me my bone was perfectly aligned and that I wouldn't need a pin or surgery. I knew God had moved because of the prayer I had received. The doctor gave me a big clunky boot anyway, and I had to wear that for a little while. It was only about seven weeks after I had, after I had fallen that I was back on my feet and in heels, which from what I understand is a very short time frame. And I was also told that most people who fracture an ankle can never wear heels again. Well, God did that for me, and I'm wearing heels today. It is amazing. Well, one Friday night, I began having, or one Friday, I began having abdominal pain, and I didn't know what was causing it. My stomach continued to get worse, and by Sunday morning, I was doubled over in pain. I was determined to go to church, and at the end of the service, your associate, Reverend Mockamer, prayed for me, and I believed. I went home. I told myself that I was going to let the anointing of God work. By two that afternoon, I was out in the yard whacking some tree roots out of the ground with the kind of pain I had been having. That was evidence of the miracle God had given me. I thank God for everything he's done through you and your associate pastors. I love all of you very much, and God is so good. He is, and you know, friend, you can see the uh, phone number on the screen right now and you can call in. We have prayer counselors on duty ready to take your call and they're prayed up and they take a fresh anointing each day and whatever your need may be or maybe you know someone that needs a miracle right now or a healing. Well friend, you can call in for them. You can stand in the gap to receive your miracle or their miracle. You know, whatever it is, you can call in. Like I said, I'd like to encourage you to call in now and we'd love to hear even if it's a testimony, we love to hear testimonies. You know, a lot of our testimonies, people write in or they email us at Ernest Angley, um, at testimonies at ernestangley.org. And also they can, you know, call in. You can call our prayer counselor and tell, tell, tell them what God has done for you through this Jesus ministry. We'd love to hear from you. We sure would. And one theme throughout all of her miracles was determination. And... You know, don't, don't hesitate to reach out to God. The devil would love for you to hold back and wait, and, but just reach out to God for your miracles. Well, that's our, you know, responsibility. You know, when we receive a miracle, God wants us to tell others about it, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to give God the glory for what he did for us. That's right. Our next testimony is Patricia from Akron, Ohio. She says, Dear Reverend Angley, on a Sunday morning in 2017, I began experiencing a sensation that I had been getting off and on since 2006. It would start at my waist and cause a squeezing feeling that would go all the way up my body and back down. It would happen every couple of months. I had asked my husband what he thought it was and if I should go to the doctor and he said I was probably having muscle spasms. In order to deal with the sensation, I would plead the blood and pray to try to calm myself down. Well, I am in your ministry's choir, and that Sunday morning the sensation started while I was standing on the choir riser right before the service began. This time it was a crushing sensation, and I couldn't get control of it. I was able to get off the platform and go to you for prayer. The Lord revealed to you that it was my heart and you prayed for me. Then you told me I had already been pointed out for that condition the previous week. And you asked me if I was still in pain. And after I was able to calm down and get control of myself, I told you I was no longer in pain. So I put my robe back on and, on, and again went out on the platform to sing with the choir. As I was trying to remember when I was pointed out, I suddenly remembered that you had pointed in my direction the previous Sunday and said, you have an enlarged heart. And at the time, I didn't think that could possibly be me, so I thought you must be pointing at someone behind me or beside me. But after what you had told me, I knew it had been me. Afterwards, devil tried me 
and he tried, especially tried me with fear. But I had to get over that fear because I knew that you, the man of God, had pointed me out and I knew the Lord had delivered me from that. When a symptom would come, I knew that it was an imagination, a battle of the mind, and I wasn't going to let that fear take me over. Take me over. I am so grateful that the Lord gave me that miracle. Another testimony I want to share is about my legs. Down through the years, I've always had trouble with my legs. My mom and grandmother had it, so it was hereditary. I always had a lot of pain and it was very difficult to sleep at night. I would toss and turn trying to find a comfortable position and I would have to elevate my legs on pillows. Sometimes when I would get home, I would have to put my legs up on the wall just to get relief. And that's really a terrible condition to be in. At other times, I would have to take a handful of pills just to get through the night. Then a couple of years ago, I injured my knee and had to have surgery. So that made everything worse. It became very difficult to walk and climb stairs and I had to move very slowly. The time came when I was moving so slowly that I had to take the back stairs to the choir loft and get into place early before the other choir members lined up. One day when my husband was speaking with you, you told him that I had already been pointed out twice for my legs. When he told me that, I decided I was going to use my faith and start using the front stairs with the rest of the choir members, believing that the Lord would move. And about a week later, the Lord used you to point me out again. You said, you are getting a miracle for your legs and they will be the strongest they have ever been. Well, as soon as you said that, I took that miracle and ran with it. Thank God I can now go to sleep without pain and without taking a handful of pills. I don't toss and turn in bed and my husband can get more rest too. I am so grateful that I'm able to move around more easily and my legs are getting stronger and stronger. Thank the Lord. I am really grateful for this ministry and for everything you've done for us. And I am especially grateful to Jesus. As you know, Kathy, it's, you know, when you're in the choir, you have to stand for a long time, even in your practices. And, oh, yes. You know, for, Patri for Patricia to, uh, to be in her place, yes. you know, and, you know, God honors every sacrifice. And our choir members, they make a big sacrifice, you know, to be in their place. And, you know, they practice long hours and they just want to make sure everything is perfect for, you know, the people to receive That's when right. they're watching, you know, our choir in action. Well, also, you know, Patricia had a, you know, had an enlarged heart and, mm -hmm. and God moved in a great way. But, That's you know, right. it, it doesn't matter what sickness or disease you have in your body. God made you and he can heal you. That's you know? right. But the key is to stay determined and be in your place. That's right. Our next testimony is John from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. He says, Dear Reverend Angeli, I have been a part of this Jesus ministry for over 40 years and I've seen many miracles. I've also received miracles and I have a few I want to share. The first one was for my stomach. After I would eat, it would suddenly feel as though everything I just ate was going to come back up. And I also had a lot of acid reflux. At night, it would, take, it would wake me up. I could feel it coming back up and I could even feel the acid in my ears. It was terrible. I got prayer from you and through the gifts of the spirit that work in your life, you saw in the vision a lot of darkness in my body. Then the miracle star came in and moved that darkness out and almost immediately after that, I had no more symptoms. Another miracle happened many years ago. I had a large and very painful plantar, plantar wart on the bottom of my foot. I tried treating it myself, but I just made it worse and it doubled in size. I went to a crusade service in Atlanta, Georgia, and you told everybody who had a wart or a bunion to stand up and take a miracle. 
and the Lord gave me that miracle. After the service, the wart did not go right away, go away right away, but soon it disappeared. And I was so thankful God took note of that. Another time I had an injury to my hand that got infected. I needed to have surgery to remove the infection and before the surgery I got prayer. The Lord blessed me with a really good surgeon and he thought he had gotten all the infection cleaned out. But after the surgery, I started getting a fever. My temperature kept going up and that was a sign that there was still some infection in my hand. You prayed for me and encouraged me to trust the Lord. Then you told me to go to sleep and get some rest and not worry about it. Sometime during the night, the fever broke and I knew the Lord was moving for me. A few weeks later, the doctors were taking the packing out from the surgery and my fever spiked again. Sometimes when there is still some infection left, people need a second surgery. I didn't want that, so I got another prayer from you. You told me to trust the blood of Jesus and everything would be fine. The next day the fever was gone. God had really moved for me and spared me from losing my hand with that infection. The next miracle I received was for what I believe was a heel spur because the symptoms I had were similar to those of someone who I knew had one. It kept getting worse and worse and I could hardly walk on my heels. During the altar services, you always encourage us to take a miracle if we need one. I did that and God moved. My heel completely healed up and I've had no more problems with heel spurs. Well, I am so thankful for the way God moved. The last miracle I want to share was for my eye. I had injured one of my eyes and it caused me to have floaters. At times I would even see flashes of light, which is really dangerous because it means there is a problem with the retina and it could even detach. I received prayer from you. You prayed that the Lord would recreate my eye and heal the damage. The floaters all disappeared and the flashes of light went away quickly. What was so neat and special to me about it was that when I had my recent eye exam, the doctor said the vision in the eye that had been injured was better than the vision in my other eye. That showed God's hand at work. God has been really good to me and my family and we hardly ever get sick. I appreciate you so much, Reverend Angelie, for the love you have for lost souls and for all your members. I also appreciate our associate pastors. Well, that's a great testimony by John. And, mm. you know, friend, you know, I'm thinking of when John was at the crusade service and, you know, he had those planter awards, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, God moves in our services. And even in the crusade services, you know, mass miracles will happen. That's and right. when Reverend Angie says, you know, the Lord moves on him and he lets the crowd know to stand up if you have, you know, whatever sickness you have, and multiple people stand up yes. and people are able to receive their miracles. Friend, miracles are real. And if you would like to come to our services, we have two beautiful locations this weekend. We have Akaga Falls at 2700 State Road and in Akron at 1055 Canton Road, Springfield Township. It all starts with our Friday night miracle service at our Akaga Falls location at 7 p.m. Friend, if you need a miracle or you know someone that needs a miracle, come to our Friday night miracle service and expect to receive. And then Saturday is our youth service at 7 p.m. at our Akron location at 1055 Canton Road, Springfield Township. We'll have a male and a female speaker and good gospel music and singing. And then back to our Kaga Falls location where we'll have our Sunday morning worship service at 10 a.m. And then Sunday evening, we're going to have a glorious time in the Lord at 7 p.m. So come and be with us in all the services. And if you do have a chance, please invite people to the services. And now we have the singing rays, and they're going to be singing, Oh, What a Holy Ghost Time. So listen to this song and get ready to receive whatever the Lord has for you today because God is moving in a wonderful way. No. 
another time. In another time. But what a holy ghost time. What a time there's going to be. There's going to be when I get to heaven. And my father's face I see. What a holy ghost time. What a time that's going to be. That's going to be. I'll be shouting praises to the king of kings. During my mansion Jesus made for me. Love when I miss can by my He's mine, mine, mine. Ooh, I'm on my way to God's perfect hour. He's charging my body with mighty power. He's been my teacher and my God. He's been ever by my side. Oh, what a Holy Ghost time. He is the greatest part of my day. Hallelujah. I'm sitting in heavenly places. Going to Jesus' way. Praise God forever. What a Holy Ghost time. What a Holy Ghost time. Singing with the angels around God's throne. What a holy ghost time! What a time there's going to be. There's going to be when I get to heaven and my father's face I see. What a holy ghost time! What a time that's going to be. That's going to be. I'll be shouting praise to the King and Kings. Touring my mansion, Jesus made for me. The love of God is gathered by my side. Have his way. 
You have to keep that fire burning. What a wonderful song by the Hallelujahs. And friend, I was just handed a couple notes, you know, about from our prayer counselors. And just think, you know, you know, these prayers are going forth and people really do appreciate the prayers. There was a lady from Jefferson, Ohio, that just wanted to thank us for the prayers that we've sent out to her. And, you know, God is moving for these people and there's just, they recognize that. And, you know, what a huge blessing to be part of all this. And then there's also a lady who, was watching the program and heard about Annie's testimony where, you know, this Annie received a miracle from migraine and also, you know, for uh, her leg, you know, where she fell. Well, this lady has the same problems and she's just thanking God for the prayer counselors that prayed with her and that she's able to receive in a great way and she felt the power of God come upon her. So friend, I'd like to encourage you to call in. You know, you see the phone number on the screen and get your miracle or get your healing for whatever you may need. And you know, our prayer counselors are excited to pray with you. You know, they, they consider it a blessing. I consider it a blessing to pray with you at the end of the program. I mean, it's always a blessing to pray with someone and we would love to pray with you. Well, I'm going to uh, read a testimony from Robin from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. She says, Dear Reverend Angley, I have seen miracles through this ministry. I have sons that are walking miracles, and it touches my heart so much to see what God has done. I was born with an enlarged heart. The doctors told my mom and dad that either I would outgrow my condition or I would have trouble throughout my life. Well, I had been a strong child and woman and lived a very normal life, but when I woke up to go to church on March 19th, 2017, I couldn't get up. I just laid there in the bed and it felt as if I couldn't even breathe. My chest was hurting so bad and as I laid there, I looked down to see if there was something going through my chest because it felt like I was pinned to the bed. I will admit that fear set in because I didn't know what was happening. I prayed for myself and I asked the Lord to please take away whatever it was. Well, I inched myself to the edge of the bed and sat there. I noticed I had a lot of heaviness in my chest and I was finally able to get myself together and get ready for church. I made it through the day and after the evening service, I got prayer from one of your associates. Afterwards, I felt good. The pressure and heaviness in my chest was relieved. I felt good on Monday and Tuesday, but when I woke up Wednesday morning, I didn't feel good at all. And around 1.30 that afternoon, I went to the local drugstore to have my blood pressure checked, and it was 154 over 84. They wanted me to start taking medication, but I told them I wasn't going to do that right now. The nurse asked me to fill out some paperwork so I could follow up at a clinic. And I said, okay, but I told her that I wanted to get prayer. Well, I went home and went to church that night, even though I still wasn't feeling good. And right after the service, the chest pains hit me again. I was able to get prayer from you, and you told me to take the perfect miracle. Well, I took it, then I went home and went to bed, I slept like a baby, and when I woke up the next morning, I felt so good. Well, I haven't had any more heaviness or pain in my chest. I thank you and your associates for all you've done for the Lord. The teachings and sermons in this ministry are blessings to the soul, and I love it here. 
and our people do love it here. And you know, <clears throat> it, it's something God wants you to have that perfect miracle to be whole all over. You know, mm -hmm. in the Bible, Jesus prayed for people, and you know, they were made whole. And it is something when you receive a miracle where you're 100% whole. You know, it, it is a huge blessing. That's right. And that was the second miracle I read of an enlarged heart <laughs> being healed. And uh, so maybe you have an enlarged heart and you can call in and get prayer or come to a Friday night service. That would even be great. And you can have your miracle from the Lord. Well, now I have testimony from Eva from Monroe, North Carolina. She writes testimonies. Then she makes a list. I've had a lot of miracles, healings, and prayers answered. Recently, I called the prayer line for severe pain in my knees. It has disappeared. I have prayer for my daughter's blood pressure to be normal, and it is running normal. I have prayer for my granddaughter and daughter for being sick, and they are healed. I watched your program on Sunday and was healed of acid reflux, heartburn, and digestive tract. I praise and thank God for all healings. Just one right after the other. What I love is, you know, she's watching the program and mm -hmm. she's receiving her miracles. You know, right. it, it is great, you know, to reach all the people, you know, you know, that watch this program and along with our radio broadcast. You know, people all over the world can see, go to our worship center and then they can able, able to see miracles. They're able to see, you know, Reverend Angley preaching and they're able to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But, you know, God has made it that way. You know, he's increased that knowledge. And by him increasing that knowledge for man, you know, we're seeing all these different avenues how we're able to touch so many souls. We even have our uh, radio app so that you can actually listen to radio 24-7, you know, of gospel music, testimonies, and we even have our, our wonderful preaching on there. And just think, you know, people over in Africa can listen to all that and, you know, they, they're able to receive. And, and, you know, the testimonies that you're reading today, you know, are some that have gone forth. That's right. And all these technologies that we're using today were God's plan all along. And the magazine we just offered, Knowledge Has Increased, that is explained in there. God had the knowledge all along, and it's for this final hour to reach the world. Well, here's Albert from St. Clairsville, Ohio. He says, Dear Reverend Angley, I've been one of your partners for many, many years. I've had back and neck problems for over 30 years related to my work. I started to have spasms on my left side. I didn't want to go to the doctor, so one night I read The Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. A day or so later, the spasms were gone. God did it, your Jesus partner. And, and that magazine just really is a powerful tool It is. in uh, itself. It's a wonderful tool to <clears throat> use over in the mission field. And you know, oh, even yes. our shipping department, we ship out those magazines and yes. you know, they go into the prisons over in Africa, they go into the prisons, you know, in South America. And we hear such wonderful reports how people read those testimonies and they're able to re receive their miracle or healing, you know, and it just and there's usually either a sermon or a crusade report and it just helps them lift their faith. Uh, we've seen so many pictures of from the mission field. Uh, people will receive a magazine from one of our workers and they'll sit right down wherever they are and start reading a step or wherever or just even standing up, they'll start reading it, stop in their tracks and it's just really a wonderful uh, magazine indeed. Carries the word of God and the testimonies. Well, here's Sylvia from Boston, Massachusetts. She says, Dear Reverend Angley, greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for your prayers and the blessed cloth. I used it on my left wrist that was so painful for over three weeks. And praise the Lord, it is now pain free. And there's another great tool that God is using is the prayer cloth. Yes, and, and this is a cloth that Reverend Ainsley prays over. And it's according to Bible in <clears throat> Acts chapter 19, verses 11 and 12. You know, the Apostle Paul, they, they took pieces of cloth from him, you know, it said uh, aprons and napkins, and these little pieces of cloth they would use to, uh, to pray for people. Well, you know, that's what we're doing. 
we're taking this cloth that Reverend Angel has prayed over, and we take it over to the mission field, we send it over into the prisons, we send it over, you know, we, we send it to people that request it, and it's no charge, and we'll send that, you know, that blessed cloth to that person, and they're able to receive their miracle. And Fred, you know, if you would like to call in right now and receive a blessed cloth, we will send it out to you for free, you know, and God's, you know, working through many different avenues. Uh, this is a uh, partner from South Bend, Indiana. They write, Dear Ernest Angley Ministries, I thank God for your support in prayer and the Holy Ghost magazines that increase my faith and help me walk closer to my Savior. I have faith in the blessed cloth, for I received healing for my knee that made me limp from a bone that formed in that knee. It's another great miracle from the blessed cloth. This is Grace from Mishawaka, Indiana, and she writes, Dear Reverend Angley, all praise and honor be unto our God. I am very happy to write you this letter. I have been watching your program every Sunday for some years now. I have a three-year-old son who has autism. He did not talk, so anytime Reverend Mockamer started to pray for the sick, I would carry him to the TV and place his hands on his for prayer. I have been doing this for a while. I am happy to say that my son, who does not even open his mouth, is now able to say certain words and is vocalizing more and more. This is a miracle to me. Now as soon as he sees Reverend Mockamer on the screen, he will run and place his hands on the TV. And the Lord's beginning to bring him out of that. Yes, and you know, what a great report and how encouraging <laughs> for the mother to, to see that, you know. Yes. What a great love she has for her son, you know, and then for him to actually start speaking, you know, that had to be yes. such a great joy. Yes. This is Patricia from Atlanta, Georgia. She says, Dear Reverend Angley, my testimony is that I was healed from back pain one night as I touched the TV screen and agreed with this Jesus ministry. God just moves in so many ways using the television broadcast. Yeah, it's, a, it's a point of contact, you know, right. and when you use a point of contact to release your faith, you know, God can work with that faith. You know, that's all it is, is by you putting your hand against my hand on the television screen, that's a point of contact. By using the blessed cloth, it's a point of contact. Even our literature is a point of contact for people who just released, received that literature. Maybe it's a uh, Healing from Heaven book, or maybe it's a Holy Ghost magazine. Whatever it is, it's their point of contact for them to release their faith, to receive their miracle. Well, this is Kelly from Chicago, Illinois. She says, hello, Reverend Angley. I am writing you today to praise the Lord for my wonderful miracle. I can't stop thinking about it. I had been having trouble with my foot as if I was losing feeling, but it wasn't all the time. I got in the healing line and the Lord discerned, and the Lord discerned through you that it was cancer. I was in total shock. You said I had a growth on my brain and the cancer was moving fast. You also said that soon I would not be able to walk. Well, I am young and I don't want to die. The Lord saved me from an awful fate. And I'm so glad that I came that Friday night. It was a great night of singing and mass miracles were taking place. I'm so grateful that Jesus spared me and I thank him for you, Reverend Angley. Well, our Friday night services are a huge blessing and people do travel very far just to get to these services. You know, whatever their need may be, you know, we've heard people save up. There's a gentleman from Africa saved up for 10 years just to get to this Friday night miracle service so he could get his deliverance for, and get his miracle. And he gave a testimony on that. But we've seen it time and time again where people travel from all over just to receive their miracle. Well, friend, we have a great song for you now by the Love Road Trio. And the title of this song is There Is Room at the Altar. And friend, there is room at the altar for everybody. You know, whatever your need is. Take your sins away There is 
What a beautiful song by the Love Road Trio. And friend, there is room for the altar for you right now. You can pray with me to ask Jesus into your heart. Pray with me now and say, Oh God, save my soul. Forgive me for my sins. But I have come home to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe that the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Friend, if you meant that prayer, you have Jesus Christ in your heart. You have the healer. Let's get your miracle for you today. Put your hand against my hand against the television screen. This is a point of contact, and we're going to pull down heaven together. Lord, Heavenly Father, you know what their need is. Break their bondage and set them free. We curse every sickness, every disease in their body. Heal in the holy blood name of Jesus. Heal in the holy blood name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Friend, look for every sign of improvement and always give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. I love you. Jesus loves you and you are special to God. Friends, we want to thank you for your prayers and financial support for this work of God. We are reaching many souls throughout the world with this gospel message, and your reward will be a great one. Well, till the next time we get together, remember, you are special to God.